Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Yeah! 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 Dead. This is dirty! What's up guys, my name is Cole and welcome back to a super awesome Dark Elixir farming guide, possibly the fastest and easiest way to gain Dark Elixir in all of Clash of Clans and I definitely back up this method and think it is the best because I am currently upgrading my Archer Queen to level 4 and that cost me about 27,000 Dark Elixir. Now keep in mind before I started this upgrade I had about 3,000 Dark Elixir in my storage and in a whole day I was able to gain all that and a little bit more just off of this method and it's super easy super fast uh, doesn't cost really anything and it's just overall awesome so what this method is all about is you're really looking for bases uh, on the outside with their dark elixir drills uh, most bases are gonna have them on the outside so it makes it really easy to get the D because uh, you know we all like getting the D uh-huh uh-huh you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying guys uh-huh but yeah so um, basically what army we have trained up for this method is we are gonna be using a lot of goblins as well as a lot of giants not too many giants they're basically there just for the distraction uh, so how I set up my barracks training is I did giants training in this barracks uh, and all the rest of my three barracks are also going to be training with goblins. I also threw in some heal spells because obviously when you go up against these kind of bases there are going to be wizard towers and mortars and you don't want your goblins dying out so it's kind of nice sometimes in a clutch situation to have those heal spells to help you out. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go over some of my defensive attacks. That doesn't even make sense. I honestly just said defensive attacks. Honestly you guys, fuck my life. Um, but here we go. Let's go and check out this one right here. Uh, where is it? Right about there. Yeah, right, there it is. So 1,020 Dark Elixir. Now, obviously what this method is all about is what you're going to do is you're going to gain a lot of trophies. So you want to gain a lot of trophies and that is either through Town Hall sniping or whatever method you find best. And you're going to go ahead and just lose every single battle. Um, I know that sounds kind of stupid. Obviously you don't have to lose every single battle, but it is fastest and the way you can train your army the fastest. Uh, so what I go ahead and do is look for these bases that are pretty much abandoned and they become really easy to find because if you guys didn't already know, uh, the more battles you lose, the more it matches you against bases that have lost previously. And obviously bases that are abandoned are going to have a huge loss ratio and it's going to be really easy to find these resources. So what I go ahead and do in this one is drop down my giants first and then follow it up with my goblins and a heal spell because there was that wizard tower right there. The wizard's like, oh my god, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him! Get him! Yeah! 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 Alright, anyways, that was a little, uh, misfortunate entertaining. But I kind of failed over here. Uh, I didn't realize that this mortar would take out all my goblins in one hit, despite dropping down a heal spell. But that's okay. Coming away with 1,000 dark elixir, a good amount of elixir and whatnot. I lost 30 trophies, but I am currently dropping down right now because I'm just sick of the whole trophy push thing. I'm gonna wait till I am a higher level and I have maxed out all my defenses and stuff like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at my attack log more. I mean, I'm just going to show you guys a little brief uh, run over of this. So 840, 1,500, 600. And keep in mind, these were very easy. And honestly, you could get around 30,000 Dark Elixir in about an hour or so uh, doing this method if you either had your barracks boosted or you just got pretty lucky. Um, but let's go ahead and finish off this little tutorial with a live raid of me doing this So I will see you guys in a sexy minute All right, you guys so now we found another base that I was talking about if you look right here uh, His elixir drills are on the outside uh, He also has another two over here uh, So what we're gonna go ahead and do is drop a couple of giants right here to distract uh, There is a wizard tower right there So let's previously drop a heal spell uh, to make sure our goblins stay alive and look right here, there is also a multi-target Inferno, and that would have done a lot of damage to us, but luckily we had that heal spell. So looks like we took away a lot of that Dark Elixir. Might as well drop a few extra troops on the outside and get a little bit extra resources. Oh, there's a giant bomb. Uh, blew up some of our green little men. And here we go, last pump right here. Let's just drop down three giants and wait for them to get to the defenses. Come on, you guys, hurry up. Alright, uh, one at a time, and the Dark Elixir is almost gone. There we go, got most of it. Uh, we can actually go ahead and use the rest of our troops because I don't think we have any other purpose than that. Uh, just clear out these extra outside collectors and get a few more gold and elixir. So here we go, almost done. 80 goblins left and we're going to go ahead and surrender right now. Alright, there you go. We got 400 uh, dark elixir. Now it wasn't that much, but obviously 
once you get up into the higher leagues it does get better and better so the higher you push up and the faster you drop down the more you will receive uh, but I'm pretty happy only using about like not that much troops uh, only seven giants 94 goblins and receiving about 500 dark elixir now that would take actually a couple of hours to gain on my own time uh, probably about 10 or 12 so I'm pretty happy with that progress and if you just keep at that you will definitely gain at least 20,000 in a couple hours so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like button I will be posting a live clan wars attack on team Colson tomorrow so look forward to that you guys because I am super pumped I'm gonna be attacking uh, this guy right here what is his name Suffox kick yeah, so fast kick. Uh, a really under level Town Hall 10. And gonna be going for the 3 star on that guy. So I hope you guys are excited for that because I am super excited. I just jizz my pants right now. But with that being said, you guys have a great day, people. I love you all. Thank you so much for the support. And with that being said, keep on clashing, guys.